What is up guys, it is Shire Studios here. Guys, I am excited showing you the guitar today. I kind of a tear down and put back together. Um, changing the strings out. I've been using uh, Dan or <laughs> Dan Electra. I've been using this Dan Electra for a while, but I've been using Denario strings for a, a while now. Uh, the, the NYX, uh, I'll show a picture of them in just a little bit. Um, and I got recommended to switch over to these Roto Yellows. And uh, we're going to try those out, see what they sound like. Um, a couple, I've listened to a couple other uh, Nashville Session guys and some other, uh, just some other guys that have recommended uh, these strings. So I'm going to try them out. Uh, I believe the uh, Denarios are like 13 bucks, and these are 5 bucks. So we're going to see uh, does more expensive mean more better. So anyways, let's jump in here and... Uh, I'm going to get teared down, we're going to do some sound demos, get all that good stuff going on. Uh, maybe some of you have never seen inside of a Dan Electro. I'm going to take the pick guard off for us, uh, look inside, all that good stuff. Uh, I've never seen it inside, so it'll be fun for me. Guys, hang tight, we'll get this going. Alright guys, so we have the Dan Electro here. I'm going to start taking the strings off, talk a little bit while I take the strings off. Um, the, uh, uh, I don't have one of those fancy, fancy, uh, string turn things, but anyway, I'm going to talk a little bit about this guitar, um, I've had it for a, a, about a year now, um, I absolutely love this thing, uh, my, a really good friend of mine had it, turn the mic a little bit, had it, and, uh, every recording he ever uses on man, I stinking loved this thing. Uh, it's just something unique about this guitar, uh, and just, I don't know, I've always loved it. Um, always loved it. It was a really good guitar, um, for sure. Uh, I'm also a string saver, guys. I'm not, I'm one of those guys, I will, I will maybe, these strings were completely dead. Um, so if I will save these, and if I pop a string, I will replace it with one of these. So if you ask me why I'm doing it this way, instead of just cutting the suckers, that's fine. But, um, he made a lot of really good recordings with this guitar. Um, and when he told me that he was selling this thing, I was like, oh my god, I have to buy this thing, because the tone of this guitar is just amazing and I loved it. Um, I think Dan Electra is a really cool guitar um, and I've always thought that uh, they were very cool and of course this is a prime example of a beautiful guitar. I mean this thing just is gorgeous. Uh, sparkly blue, yes. That's a really question for now. I don't know. Like, I would have to sit there and eat them and try to. Uh, I want to say, I want to say brown or white mushroom, but I don't Tell me in the comments what like white mushrooms or brown mushrooms. And she had to ask right in the middle of the video. Um, I don't know. Probably white. I don't know. Good way to get me off track here. Um, you know, uh, it's a. Uh, I've been using this. Uh, I put out a couple of videos of us um, playing at church, um, and that's where I use it. Uh, as, as you guys will see, you guys will see my uh, Reverend Double Agent in uh, the playthrough video, or have you already seen the playthrough video, um, kind of the comparison. Um, it, uh, I've been using that Reverend for a really long time, and I love that thing so much. Um, and it's a... Uh, Uh, 
uh, it was hard to give up that guitar for this one, but I mean, at the same time, their tones are completely different. Um, and these uh, little, the hot rail, or the, the lipstick pickups, oh my god, they are probably my favorite pickups out of, out of anything that I've ever played. But some of you guys, maybe you've never seen a Dan Electro get taken apart. Um, uh, I'm wanting to look inside and look at the uh, the inner bits. Um, look at all that stuff inside. Um, Maybe clean the pots out, maybe, or something, I don't know. Um, but, this thing is gorgeous, and I love it. Good way. Maybe we're getting too long. I'm gonna pause the video while I take the rest of the strings off. All right, so we got the strings off. Uh, I got all of the uh, the uh, screws out of the pit guard, guys. If you, I don't know if you can tell in there in the photo. I'm scratching this off, but this still has some of the original pick uh, plastic on this thing. Uh, this is a '63 reissue, and uh, like I said, uh, the guy that owned this before me. Um, I'm probably a good, I want to say a good 90%. He never took the pit guard off this thing. And maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Uh, maybe 80%. Um, but I'm sure he has never seen inside of this guitar either. And there are a lot of you that have never seen what's underneath the Dan Electra pit guard, uh, including myself. So I'm excited to see underneath here, clean it up a little bit. I got my microfiber cloth. Um, clean it up a little bit it's not been cleaned in a while uh, well this is the last string change uh, I cleaned it up pretty good um, but the uh, this guitar is amazing and I love it um, just our church plays a lot of different different kinds of music from modern uh, to old uh, to older you know older style hymn book um, you know uh, we play a good mixture of everything, and um, I, I, uh, this thing has outperformed, overperformed uh, in every scenario, and uh, I love this guitar. So, uh, what I'm excited about is I'm going to take this guy off. Big pots, okay. All right, so those are 5K pots. Um, that's really cool. So you can see the moissanite. Okay, uh, please bear with me if uh, if the camera makes some funny noises. Um, but I'm going to try to get, get you a closer picture of this. Hang here. All right. Focus. All right, so if you guys can see inside, there are layers of I guess composite or uh, put that inside make it bang. I apologize if it got static um, 
kind of knew that it was going to get staticky. So, bear with me. Um, hopefully that didn't blow your eardrums out. But, heck, uh, I, I thought that was worth seeing. Um, oh, that's cool. Uh, just drop. Oh, my um, looking inside, there's a block that runs down the middle. So, all of this is hollow. On both sides are going to be hollow. Um, and there's a block that runs down the middle of it. Wow. Cool. That's really cool. Nice, really big. I, uh, I didn't expect a, a three-way switch like that. I expected something a little, maybe a little cheaper. Um, that's awesome. Anyways, there is a look inside of the Dan Electro. Um, pretty cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything, if there's any other numbers on that pot. It's an Alpha A 500K. There's no other markings on here. that had been cool if there had been like a signature or something. I don't know. It'd been cool. Um, I, I love this. Uh, I just noticed this. There is a bread tie. This is a bread tie that's that they use to tie all the strings up to keep them all together. That is amazing. I don't know if that was stock or if that's just... Let me know, guys, if you take your Dan Electro if there was a bread tie in yours. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, i excited to put this thing back together. We're going to put the strings back on it um, and uh, see what she sounds like. We'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, so you've seen those clips back to back uh, before and after the Denario strings and the Roto Yellows. Um, hopefully you guys could hear maybe a difference. I'll be looking forward to going back and listening to those. Um, guys, uh, they feel great. Uh, they feel like really good quality strings. I like that. Uh, it was cool they actually came with, uh, with an extra uh, high E string. Um, that was kind of cool because we all know we're going to break those. Um, I don't know, they feel good, uh, they feel real similar, uh, to the, um, Denario strings, um, they're not, I, I wouldn't say that the Denarios feel any better, um, and until I play some more on them, I won't know how they actually sound against it, but, uh, like I said, listen to those, uh, little short sound clips back to back, hopefully I got them in order and all that good stuff, um, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Tell me what you thought about seeing, you know, inside of a Dan Electro. Uh, some of you guys, I'd like I said, have maybe never seen inside of a Dan Electro. Um, but yeah, she's back to normal and playing good. And uh, guys, I really love this guitar. This guitar is amazing. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll have some more videos coming out. So maybe some final thoughts after maybe a month or so of playing. Uh, like I said, I use this thing for church, and 
uh, home demos and all kinds of stuff. So um, this has pretty much become my go-to guitar now. And I absolutely, like I said, you guys seen the Reverend sitting beside me. I love that thing. Uh, I've got a few good demos uh, in other videos. I'll maybe link that in below. Um, guys, go check those out. Tell me what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.